In this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install dbgpt on Windows. You can install dbgpt either on your own laptop or you can install it on any cloud instance using Windows. I also have other videos where I show you how you can install it on Linux systems and also on Google Colab. But in this video, I'm simply going to show you how you can do that on Windows operating system. If you're not aware of what dbgpt is, in very simple words, dbgpt is a framework which allows you to build your large language model applications in respect to your databases. Or if you want your large language models to interact with your databases, then you can use dbgpt. And databases could be Oracle, SQL Server, even Excel file, CSV file, or any data source. DBGPT is evolving quite rapidly and it is already allowing you to do a lot more than just talking with your databases. But those use cases, you can go through this GitHub repo and read along. I'll drop the link in Twitter's description too. But for this video, let's focus on how to get it installed on your Windows operating system. So the first thing, log into your Windows system and then in the bottom left, just type here PowerShell right click on powershell and then run as administrator let's wait for it to load also click on this top left icon of powershell go to properties port and let me make it a bit bigger around let's say 24 looks good maybe also bold click ok so I hopefully you should be able to see it more clearly now the first thing we need to do is to install Chocolaty. Chocolaty or Choco is a software package manager in Windows, which makes it very easy to install packages. Because as part of dbgpt, we need to install few packages which are needed for it to work. For example, we need to install Python, we need to install few other things like Git and stuff. So let's wait for it to finish. Normally it doesn't take that long, but my system is maybe a bit slow because I'm using M5 2x large instance on AWS. So maybe that is why. Almost done. Normally when you install Chocolaty, you just have to close the PowerShell and reload it. So let me do it because otherwise it won't be able to recognize it. Just close it. Go again here and it's already in the frequently access one run as administrator and then there we are choco dash dash version okay so i just made a typo there but anyways it, it has printed the version of chocolatey that is good let's clear the screen now let's install the python the command is choco install python and for dbgpt we need at least 3.10 Let's do the 3.10 Python version. Let's wait for it to get finished. Shouldn't take too long. And uh, just type capital Y here. And it is going to install the Python on your local system. Yes. Yes. I should have yes, said yes at the start. Just slash. Maybe I'll just say capital A, it means all. So that it won't be asking me again and again. Let's wait for it to finish. So our Python is installed. Let me clear this screen. The next step, let's install git. And I'm just specifying dash y here, just to make it quick. Let's wait for it to finish. a bit big packet so it should be done quickly once that's done we will install git lfs git lfs is an open source git extension which is used to manage large files and binary files in a separate lfs store and lfs stands for large file storage and it primarily keeps git repositories at a manageable size anyway so let's that is done let me clear it as i said Let's install git lfs, the large file storage. It's a relatively <clears throat> smaller one. 
let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Let me clear it. And now let's install Conda. I'm just saying Joko install Anaconda 3 Y-4. Let's wait for it to finish. This is a bit of a bigger package. You can install Conda too, but let's go with Anaconda doesn't matter really. So Conda is installed and I'm already in the base of Conda. Let's first git clone that GitHub repo of dbgpt. Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. That's done. Now let's create Razor environment for Conda, which is for 3.10 Python version. Click enter. This is going to create a new dbgpt environment. Press Y. And let's wait for it to finish. And that's done. Now react uh, just activate this dbgpt environment and you can see in the parenthesis we are in this directory. Let's clear the screen. It's cool. And now in the, let's install all the required parameters but before that let's quickly check where we are ls let's go to this db gpt directory tool ls okay nice let's clear the screen and install all the prerequisites and the requirements with the help of pip let's wait for it to finish this takes around two to three minutes so let's wait so dbgpt is installed the next step let's um rename this template file as .env because that is where we will be putting our values for our openai now there are two types of models which you can use with dbgpt one is the local model models like vicuna mistral llama you can download them and run them locally or you can run the proxy models proxy model mean a remote model like chat gpt or there are various other which you can run as uh, a proxy one such as um, there are vinci and then uh, by john and there are the list goes on and on but we are going to use a chat gpt proxy one so we also need to install few dependencies around openai so let's install them all you need to do is to run this pip install dot openai with even and this is fairly quick, shouldn't take too long. Let's wait for it to finish. That's it, it is done. Let's clear it. Now, we do the ls. So we need to make a models directory and cd to it because this is where we are going to put our embedding model. Embedding model is but converts your data into numerical format or vectors or embeddings and that is what we need here Let's wait for it to finish Should not take too long The model has been downloaded up till this point all the installation is finished All we need to do now is to set our environment and then run this in order to set the environment either you can do it from here or more simply go to where your dbgpt folder is then right click on this env file or simply open it with any text editor open with i'll just open it with notepad if i could find notepad here there you go now in this notepad because we are using openai scroll down and then just search for model here somewhere Let me make it a bit bigger so that we will be able to see it together. So what I'm looking to do is maybe I'll instead of going through one by one, I'll just go at the top, control F, I'll just say NLM underscore model here. Just make it here, find next. So there you go. We need to replace replace this Vicuna one with chat GPT underscore proxy LM, save it, and then 
search for proxy API key. There you go. So here we need to uncomment this and then put our proxy API key here. Whatever our that's the paid one, you need to obtain it from OpenAI and then just uh, maybe we just need to make sure. Hang on, let me see if there is any other one. Is this the only one or is there is another one? There you go. Sorry, I was going into the wrong one. So this is where you need to put your proxy API key. And your proxy just leave your proxy API uh, uh, URL server URL as is and then save it and then let me do it quickly. I don't want to show you my open AI API key. I have saved that environment file. Let's go back a little one directory back, clear the screen. And in order to run this, all you need to do is to run this command and this will start your dbgpt server on port 5000 on localhost and then you can access it from your browser and play around with it and once you open it in the browser you should see something like this where you can upload your files or data on the left hand side and then you can talk it on the right hand side so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or thought please let me know and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much